Good morning, everybody. This is Kelly Britt on 333. It is bright and early, Tuesday morning, February 26th. Um, I'm doing this video for me because it's something that I need to watch uh, on many different occasions to remind myself. First, I was just going to private message Sally so that she could see how much she has shifted my thought process and affected my life. And then I thought, you know what, I need to do a video about this um, for me, and maybe it'll help others. So my morning started with the alarm going off around 5 a.m. And uh, it's Tuesday, and yesterday was a tough day. I left the house at 6.15 and didn't get home until 7.30 at night because I had a doctor's appointment directly after work. And it was just enough time to put my kids to bed. Um, and then everything else. So then this morning, the alarm goes off, and immediately I'm laying in bed, and my mind starts going right to, oh my goodness, uh, I'm going to have a long day today. I have a union meeting directly after work, so I'm not going to get home until 8 o'clock tonight. Um, then I start thinking about all the bickering that goes on at work, all the extra bickering that's going to go on in the union meeting. And I thought to myself, stop. And that's exactly what I said in my mind. This is all my thoughts. I said, stop right there. Enough. I'm not going to start my day with this type of negativity. I need to start my day with an attitude of gratitude and positive thoughts. And then my mind immediately went, to Sally sitting in England in her sunroom. Um, one of the videos that I watched, the sun was coming up and um, I was imagining her gratitude jar and then I start thinking, okay, I need to go down and, and put something in my gratitude jar because I do that with my family now. And then I started thinking about all the things that I'm grateful for. And the first thing I said, God, thank you, I'm so grateful for this day, you know, that I'm healthy and my family is good, and, and then it just spread from there. It's, you know, I'm, I'm so thankful for my beautiful children. I'm so thankful for this community. I'm so thankful for the consciousness of making this shift and change. So as all this is going through my head, I get up, I go into the bathroom, I'm uh, washing my face, take a shower, and all this stuff's going in my head. Um, and then I go to get ready, and I still got the positive. And then I go back into the, to the bathroom to do my hair, and then I find myself putting on makeup. I rarely put on makeup. If I put on makeup, it means I'm going out. I mean, you guys have seen my videos. I, I'm a very simple, you know, but I start putting on makeup. And... Other things that I noticed in the mirror is, you know, when I was in my bed and I was making the shift, I forced myself to smile. And then I started really feeling the smile. So now I'm in the mirror and I'm putting on makeup and I'm smiling. And I thought, you know, makeup makes me feel pretty. And then my mind shifted to, it's in my eyes. You know, my joy is in my eyes. And that I stopped seeing the makeup and the smile and I just looked into my eyes in the mirror and it was just, it was so nice. And again, it brought me back to this is the power of my thought. I controlled my thought process. And then I started to think, well, if just feeling this attitude of gratitude and feeling so happy and blessed prompted me to put on makeup, which I normally would not have done. Um, where else is it going to lead me today? You know, and instead of looking at my day as a task, I looked at it as opportunities. You know, what kind of opportunities are going to cross my path? Now, I've talked about the law of attraction for, attraction for a long time. I do believe positive thinking attracts positive things, but 
this was prime example, and I haven't even left my bathroom yet. Um, I just found it ish interesting. You know, call me crazy. But so here I am at work now, and uh, there's a lot of craziness that goes on around me. And I had my therapy session last night, which was all good, and a lot about this, which training my thought. And I talked a lot about how I've always lived my life with as long as I know I've done the right thing and done the best that I can, I can lay my head down with a guilt-free conscience. And there are certain areas of my life that I am sad about, um, that I no longer have contact with the majority of my family, maybe only one family member or two family members left, and I have a, a very large family. Um, but I know that I have tried everything, and I know that they are toxic for me. And as sad as I may be about the times that I miss, you know, and I was talking about this with a friend, and I said, it had been a very long time since I left a family gathering that I felt good or happy. And that told me something. So I had to stop going. And then I started thinking about past behaviors, that uh, things that I did, and, and you know, whether it be past boyfriends and old breakups, and here I am married over, you know, been with my husband for over 15 years, and, but I, 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 rem I was starting to analyze my behaviors. And I had continued negative behaviors because I realized, what, I always ask myself, what's the payoff? Why am I doing this? And I was chasing a feeling that I used to feel. And I guess that's what was going on with my family issues too, is I was chasing that sense of belonging, that feeling a part of something, but I hadn't felt that in so long. So I said in therapy last night, I needed to just shift my thought. I need to stop. When, when my mind goes to my family, or maybe what I miss, I need to stop that. It's out of my control. I can't control it. I need to let go of it. Is it sad? Yes, but I can't control it. So let me focus on the things that are positive. Focus on the family that I've always wanted that I'm creating now with my girls and my husband. And that's all that's in my power. That and my perspective. So this video for me is about my thought process and perspective, which I know I often talk about, but I needed to get down how the alarm went off, the negativity that started in my head while I was still in bed, and I shifted it. And in that shift, it brought positive things before I even left the house. I mean, you know, not a spectacular, nothing amazing about this outfit, but I feel good in it. It's, 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 it's here and here. And, and these are the things that matter, and these are the things that I'm learning. I mean, I've known it, but it, it's becoming deeper within. And watching these videos, and, and I say, you know, Sally and Jamie were in my head last week, and it's funny, when I was in bed, I, before I got out of bed, all this mental stuff, I started thinking about uh, all the visitors at Rosemary and Connie's when Janie and Sally and all the visitors, and I started thinking about the love between them. And it just brings me joy. It brings me joy that they shared that love with us, that they allowed us to witness it. And, and sometimes I do feel like a part of it. You know, I watch them and, and they're so open and they're so giving of themselves. And it's, it's moving to me. So. I need to remember, and hopefully those of you watching can also think, ponder, remember, that we can control our thoughts. And just like we go out and exercise our bodies, we have to exercise our minds like this too. And if we find ourselves getting angry, getting worked up, getting negative, and not to say there aren't things that cause that, we can do our best to shift that. And, and what I've tried to work on is, if it's out of my control, let it go. You can't control it, let it go. And all the negative people around me at work, 
I have to shift. I have to smile. I have to look in their faces and smile, even if they're scowling at me. I have to smile because I know that that's not about me. That's about them. When, when people come at you and they're negative for no reason, that has nothing to do with you and everything to do with what's going on with them and what they're sad about. Or, or I, I don't know what's going on with them, but I don't have to take it on. I can, I, I, I say to my friends here, I get in my little bubble. I create a bubble for myself to the best of my ability and it's my happy bubble and I try and stay there for as long as I can and I'm learning how to make it stronger and that's what this is about. So thank you to the community, to my friends, to Sally, Janie, Rosemary, uh, to, to all of you out there who have given me the strength and taught me to, to get to this place and now I just need to be consistent and I need to work this out and I need to exercise this and I plan to. So have a great week. Thank you for listening.